What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be doing some fast and easy KDP niche research and seeing how many activity book niches that we can find in 10 minutes. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now this video is actually also part of a playlist of other videos that I have been putting together as we can see just here. 30 niches in 10 minutes, 33 niches in 10 minutes, 29. And if you want to see all those videos together, I'll link them right there in the right hand corner. So, what we're going to use in this video, just to brainstorm a bunch of ideas, is just Amazon. Now remember that ideas are everywhere. To research and brainstorm a bunch of niches, or niches, shouldn't really take that long, just because ideas are endless. So what we're going to do is actually just use Amazon to brainstorm a bunch of ideas and see how many niches we can find in 10 minutes. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's keep it on books and let's just go and do um, activity books. Now I've spelt that wrong, so let's just correct that. There we go. Activity books. That's all we're going to search. And what we want to do is look on the first page, maybe the second, looking at other sellers as well, and just brainstorm a bunch of ideas. Then once you have that list of ideas, you can go through and find all the profitable niches. So this is just a real simple and quick way to brainstorm a bunch of niches. Now it's been two minutes already. So let's just go ahead and do this and see how many activity book niches that we can find in 10 minutes. So let's go ahead. Let's go to here. Let's go past the sponsored post and let's just start here. So from here we have activity book for teens. Teens, not really much of a niche. I'm looking for different niches. Mazes and puzzles, puzzle activity book. So that could be a niche. Let's type that one down. Puzzle. And then here we have Minecraft. I suggest staying away from anything like that then adult adult activity book okay so that is type of a niche let's put teens as well so let's put adults and teens let's put them together now let's just move on <coughs> excuse me let's go to here so we have unicorn unicorn activity book yep that could work so unicorn on to the next mazes for kids a maze activity book could work let's type it down so maze then here a jumbo a jumbo activity book i'm guessing people are searching that so we'll type that down highlights books things to do mazes for kids nope in fact let's just go back to here let's change this to all i think we're going to get a lot better results let's just do that and give that one second and now let's just go through these niches so Jumbo, we got Mazes, Activity Book for Teens, Minecraft, that's all good. Then from here, Cool, Cars and Trucks. So a Truck Activity Book, Cars Activity Book, so that could work, Cars, Trucks. Then Unicorns, we already have, so let's just keep scrolling. So as we're scrolling through the page, what I'm potentially doing is just looking for keywords that stick out for me. So right here, preschool, a preschool activity book. That's a word that sticks out to me. So we're going to type that down. Then we have mazes for kids, connect the dots, hidden word searches. Nope, let's keep scrolling. First grade, jumbo, sticker, sticker activity book. Nope, so let's just keep doing this national park so a park national park activity book mm, not too sure so let's keep scrolling through more unicorn then we have another adult so from here what i'm going to do as we're near the bottom we're going to open up this one now i know for a fact that activity slayer is one of the best activity book publishers out there so now let's just go through and take a look at their books now you can do this on 
any seller, any author, especially if they have a author central. In fact, it makes it so much easier because now we can go through to here and we can see all these different types of activity books. So right off the bat, we have Easter. Easter's been and gone, so let's not type that down. Then we have, if we scroll down to Easter, unicorns. We got Easter again, Easter again, Jumbo, dinosaurs. So dinosaurs is an activity book that we could look more into. So let's just put dinosaurs. Then we have space, a space activity book. Okay, so now let's type that one down, space. Then we have a Bible, Bible activity book. Yep, yeah, so type that down. And as you can see, once you've found a seller that publishes quite a few books, you can easily find niches. So that was the Bible, St. Patrick's Day. Been and gone, but okay, let's put that down a day, a day <laughs> as well. St. Patrick's Day, that's actually my day. So here we go, airplane. So this is a tricky one because with airplane, there's two different spellings. You have the English spelling, and then you have the American spelling. Obviously, the American spelling is just airplane. And then with the UK, England, we actually spell it like, let's just move this up. How do we spell it? A-E-R-O, aero plane. So let's keep them together because if you're trying to do colouring books, activity books, any types of books in the UK, always check for that spelling as well because that's just more potential sales. So now we have airplane and aeroplane. A-E? That doesn't look right. No, that is actually right though. So we have airplane just there. Now let's scroll through. Easter, we already wrote down. Butterfly, a butterfly activity book. So let's type that down as well. Let's take this, put that there, butterfly. Now, have you noticed how we have things like dinosaurs, butterflies? You could literally go through a whole list of animals and insects and things like that to find even more niches. And you can do that just by using Google. Anyway, let's, oh, we've gone a little bit too far there. So let's go on to the second page. We still have some time, so let's see how many more we can find. Horses, so a horse. Like I just said, you can find a list of animals and then just go through that list, checking it on Amazon to see if actually people are searching for that type of book. But now we have horse, so let's go on to the next. Fashion, a fashion activity book. Okay, so fashion. Then we have a flamingo, a flamingo. <laughs> Couldn't even say that, a flamingo activity book. Then pirates and trains, just more and more niches. So pirates, trains. Then we have Easter again, another St. Patrick's Day reptile, a reptile activity book. Who would have thought? So let's type that down, reptile. Then we have ocean animals. So let's do that, ocean animals, monster trucks. So as you can see, brainstorming niches shouldn't be that hard. You can literally do this within 10 minutes. And then once you have your list, you want to see if there's actual demand and see if people are actually searching for that type of book and to see if it's profitable. And near the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to do that in case you already don't know. So sharks, Sharks are another one, a shark activity book. Then we have owls. Again, animals would work really well with activity books. Now, on to page three. We'll go through page three, and then we'll take a look at some different ones. A so sloth, yep, we got, we got spring. Okay, so now let's do spring. What jumps to mind when you hear spring? Fall, summer winter all potential niches so let's do that then let's scroll down more more easter cat okay so let's type cat down what comes to mind a dog so let's do dog as well now with dogs and cats you have all different types of breeds so that's even more that you could look into mermaid but here's another one mermaid then we have ninja a ninja activity book that would be pretty cool then we have easter Cars and trucks, we wrote down. 
unicorns we already have dragons so we don't have dragons so let's type that one down as well dragons so now i just keep going through all of this cellar jotting down all of the niches and once i've done that i'd go back to the page we were on just here and now i would start looking back on page one so right here i'm not seeing that many so we right here we have one no no so right now, what I would actually do, oh, here's one activity book for kids, It just says mazes and things like that. So from here, we could potentially go in to see what else they're selling. We have one or two minutes left, so let's just see if we can get a few more. And bam, we have some more um, niches. We have space, Easter, catacorn, a catacorn coloring book. Who would have thought that might even work with an activity book so let's do that cat a corn bit of a weird one but hey ho each to their own garbage truck hmm. jumbo big construction so a construction um activity book construction could work so let's type that down i know i spelt that wrong but there we go and i'll just keep going through this one until i've done that then i'd go back and just keep going through spending quite a lot of time researching a whole big list of niches now once i've done that i could do activity books and then i could just put for kids click enter and then start going through the first page again and rinse and repeat so it's already been around 10 minutes so let's just stop there and see how many niches we have now remember this is all just about brainstorming it's not about finding the profitable niches finding the profitable niches takes time but researching and brainstorming a whole list of ideas like this doesn't really take that long as you can see this look this took what 10 minutes to find all of these and now we can go through and see if they're profitable but first things first let's actually see how many niches we found so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 35 niches within 10 minutes. And again, as you saw, it was really, really easy to find. But how do you actually find the profitable niches or the profitable keywords within these niches? Well, it's pretty simple. First things first, you're going to need Self-Publishing Titans Niche Score Chrome extension. Now you can find that at selfpublishingtitans.com or in the Chrome store. Once you have that installed, you want to make sure it's turned on. So I'm just going to turn that on, let the page refresh. There we go, in fact, let's just open a new tab so let's go here let's close that one and let's change this books to all all departments now why do i do that well that's how people search if someone comes on um, amazon to buy something chances are they're never going to start looking through these categories <coughs> excuse me all they're going to do use is the search bar just here and under all so that's how i actually do my research now let's actually just take one of these and see what we can do see if it's profitable let's do construction so let's put activity book have i spelt that right yes i have in fact look here's a bunch more ideas so we have activity books for nine-year-olds seven-year-olds three-year-olds and so many more again ideas are absolutely everywhere now let's go to the beginning of this and let's just type in construction construction activity book bam we can see people are actually searching this so people are searching for a construction activity book for kids and for age three so let's just type on one of these and see what the niche score is given us for this keyword now let me just give this a second to load up and pause the video and there we go and from this we can see that the niche score is 36 so ideally, this doesn't look like a very good niche to create a book in. Why is that? Well, the number of results is pretty high and the niche score is pretty low. So ideally, you want to find niches or keywords 
that have a score of 50 and above. In between 50 and 60 is good, and anything above 60 is amazing. So that's the factors that you want to look for if you're going to use this Chrome extension. But a quick glance like this, we can see doesn't look like a very good niche. So now what I would do is click on here, because we have more keywords. And now I'd click on these keywords to see the niche score, because just because this keyword isn't profitable, doesn't mean that this one isn't going to be. So once you start typing in your niches up here, just go through every single keyword to see if they're profitable. And that's how you find the profitable keywords within any niche. But again, <coughs> that takes time, 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 time. But that's how I would do it. And now I'd go through all of these niches just here one by one plugging them in checking the score seeing if they're profitable and if they are profitable i'd put them in a new list and then that way i have a bunch of ideas for when i actually want to start producing books now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.